There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We back. We back. Welcome back to another episode of I Hate the Homies podcast, episode number 66. Rock Teasy's who I be. Man, what's cracking? It's your boy Griff, the first homie. And I hate the homies, 66, Justin Moreau, famous Major League Baseball player. How about that? Or I would just be naming out 1,000 offensive linemen <laughs> between <laughs> between now and the next, I guess, the next two weeks. Yep. <laughs> Jesus, I hate the homies. It's your boy Super Dave, but guess what, y'all? We, we don't, don't care. care. But I tell you what, man, no one Lyles probably cares about uh, retracting what he said about the NBA after he won his gold medals for the USA, I mean, the World Championship. So we're going to get into that and give you our thoughts and opinions. College football kicks off technically this weekend because of games don't, last don't week. Don't do that. Notre Dame had a game, dog. Don't. Man, 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 <laughs> man come on, man. It kicks off this week, man. So we're going to get into that deep. Also, Holly Berry has to pay $8,000 a month for child support. That's actually kind of down from what she used to I pay her others. I was about to say the same thing, but let's let's talk about that. Holly can't keep a dude is the real. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, you said it, but I'm like agreeing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Who don't want to stay with Holly Berry? Like, what is the problem? David Ooh. Justice told me something one time. I don't know if I could. I might. Well, now that said David Justice, I would have said you one of well said. You got a team, right? Yeah, they were, they yeah, were, they yeah. were married. So when we talk about Holly, I'll tell you, I'll try to fix it. Because so we, we want to know now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and also, there was a high school uh, football coach out of the Atlanta area that punched one of his players. He got arrested and his lost his job. Though? We're going to find out. Let's get into the details, man, because okay. that's I got I got some thoughts that I have on that situation as well. And, right. <laughs> and, and, and the 49ers, man, they can't win for losing. They lose their uh, overall third pick of the NFL draft to uh, when they trade them to the Dallas Cowboys. They lose them. They know where he at. He right. ain't lost. <laughs> <laughs> he in so, Fort Worth staying at Addison Circle somewhere, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they know exactly where he at, dog. No need to bring out the compass. Let's get in, baby. Ray Duggar, let's get it popping, baby. Let's go. All right, so let's get into this Noah Lyles situation, man. Here's why. Okay, let's retract. If you didn't watch the World Track and Field Championships, we all know what our baby girl Shakari Richardson did, man. She's the fastest woman on earth right now. Congratulations to what everything she matter of fact, congratulations to the entire USA track and field squad. Yeah, we in good hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. in good hands as we get ready for the Olympics Paris. coming up in Paris. Yep. But one of our star track sprinters, Noah Lyles, won the gold in the 100 meters. Yeah. Fastest man alive. Yep. Won the gold in the 200 meters. Yep. Double, double. He anchored the four by 100 meter relay Clint to win gold thing. there. Clint that thing. Three gold medals hadn't been done since Usain Bolt did it. Okay. Yeah. So Noah Lyles is like on top of the world until he opens his mouth and says this. The thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? <laughs> the United States? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, I love the U.S. at times. <laughs> but that ain't the world. <laughs> that is not the world. We are the world. We have almost every country out here fighting, thriving, putting on their flag to show that they are represented. There ain't no flags in the NBA. <laughs> the thing that hurts me the most. Yeah, so what you mad that, about? Because I actually, what didn't you understand? Because, okay. Make me understand what you, because he's, he's right. Te he's technically, I see what he's trying to say. Uh, just like the point you made in baseball, the World Series technically is not the World Series because they're not playing against the world. Right. And, uh, the NBA is not playing against the world. So the Olympics technically is the world champion, if you really want to break it down like right. that. No, absolutely. That's what he's saying. Right. But I'm saying after what he just accomplished, he's the hero. He's one of the heroes. Everybody's loving our USA track and field team, and he's probably at the top of the food chain, him and Shakari Richardson. That's probably not the smartest thing to say at that moment. 
That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm all the way disagreeing with him. I disagree with him bringing that up at that moment because then the, all of the NBA players just lit oh, him they a hate whole, you. They yeah. tore him up. They tore him up. So he went yeah, from being and- – he went from being. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What did NBA players say? Like, well, what Aaron was Gordon, say? Aaron Gordon said that he would smoke him in the 200 meter. Oh. Come on, man. Now, now, now that's just that's far. just foolishness. Yeah, that is yeah. just, that's a stupid not, ass comment right there. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that particular comment was like, okay, really, dude? You couldn't right. come up with yeah. nothing else to say? I, nothing else to I don't say. Know that was your tweet. I asked a question at the press conference for him to bring up the NBA. I don't think that was the setting for him to do it. I don't have a problem with the answer or his response because it's true. Yeah. When you look at the NFL, we don't say, we say Super Bowl champs because the NFL, that is their thing. It's the Super Bowl. Yeah. It's not talking about the world. It's talking about just the NFL. NBA, we do see world champions on there. And I get confused because I say NBA champions because that's your league. I would say NBA champions too. I didn't even understand what he only reason I I, I kind of get what he was saying because I go to Africa so much and, and one of the comedians had joked in America they say in baseball is the World Series, but ain't nobody playing but Americans. <laughs> so right, I, I was like, I was like, oh, never thought about, but you also know that there is a what's it called? Uh it's like the Olympics. But it's only three countries that ain't in it, and America is one of them. It start with a C. It's the because uh, it's the British ruled. Uh, what is it? Oh, I know it's so, sport. In all sports, it's the Olympics, and there's only three countries that ain't in this. The Olympics. Uh, hold on, I'm pulling it up. Hold on, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find. It. I'm gonna find it. Oh, so we I all, can't, we I can't find it, but I know what it is. It's the. It's the. The something games that start with a C. God bless it. Hold on, gentlemen. Are you, are, are you showing your age now? <laughs> you showing, you no, it's called age. dog because it's gonna mess you up because I'm sure you didn't even know either. What's the what's the other? It's, I didn't oh, want to know. <laughs> no, you're gonna want to know because you're gonna be mad. Griff. Games. Hey Griff, you going uh you going hunting today, dog? You got your mess. little hunting shirt on? Hold on. <laughs> You going to hunt some deer today, dog? <laughs> oh yeah, I do. That. <laughs> <laughs> you really go out there getting your hunting your deer stand today, dog? <laughs> you going to hunt some squirrels today, dog? Put the, put the, put the, put the put deer piss on me, dog, and just <laughs> stand in the woods. <laughs> Griff, you gave him too much time when you're looking for that Olympic, yeah. whatever it was. I, hold on. Here's what's funny. I stopped pulling it up after he said where I'm going. And I remember it's the Commonwealth Games. Commonwealth, Commonwealth Games. Games. Okay. okay. So the Commonwealth Games has every sport that the Olympics has, but it's only three countries that's not in it. And probably because I'm going deer hunting later that I also <laughs> don't want to be involved in the Commonwealth game. That's so damn funny. Uh, that's the commercial. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and you have no idea. <laughs> what else is happening, dog? Leave that man. Hey, on. college football technically, for real, for real, kicks off this weekend. We're going to get into that next. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities. In partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, the McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. Hello, Saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com backslash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. 
Now, look, Griff, I don't care what you say. We had a couple games last weekend. I right, know the Dame and Navy and all that. But, you know, this is this is the real weekend this weekend. But you can't take away from somebody that is a Navy fan or a Notre Dame. First of all, don't bring me all the way to Ireland and lift me by half a hundred. We could have did that at the crib. Like, no, we could have did that in Annapolis. You ain't got to, you, you had to take us all the way to Dublin to, to put half a hundred on us with the new quarterback. I know it was about six games. I actually, it was so cool because I was watching the Navy game and then I was like, I don't care about, I don't care about the Irish. So I'm, my team don't play till next week. That's what I was saying. But then, we got East Carolina. So, that I mean, they also going to get a whole handful of touchdowns put on them. Too. Man. Yeah, huh? But the game, the watch. game is Florida, Florida, Utah, Florida, yeah, Utah watch. State. I, think, I don't consider what we saw last week the start of the college football season. I don't know if you guys realize this, but the USC game, did y'all find that game on TV? Man, I didn't even see it. No nowhere, way, dog. I didn't even see it. It wasn't on TV. Hey, I was even on my I was even on a fire stick. Me, I was about to say, well, I got a fire stick. Got fire stick got all the games. I, I don't want to see USC San Jose State, but I yeah. wanted to see Caleb Williams because I wanted to, me, to see yes, yeah, because this, 300 me, yards in the first half. Yeah, this is the guy that can actually win back to back uh Heisman trophies yep. for the first time since 1974. Archie Griffin. Griffin. Yes. So that's why I wanted to watch because he is must see entertainment. What's but the other game, Super Dave, this week, um, this Saturday? What's the big game outside hey. of uh, uh, Colorado Dave? TCU? But this is why I like real alignment. Colorado you know, TCU is actually going to be a good game. Colorado going to get lifted. Quote me on that. You don't think the they're going to get lifted? You don't tap think the they're going to? They're not going to put 28. How many people is returning to TCU? Let me ask you that. Uh, not too many. They lost not like most many. of they, they they lost most of these seniors on both sides of the ball. But they've always reloaded. They've they they reloaded yeah. pretty good over the years. But here's here's the deal with that situation. Uh, you guys already know how I feel about Colorado and what we Deion's going to do. I think I think he's going to get five or six victories this year. Um, will this weekend be one of his victories? It's hard to tell, man, because I I haven't been at camp. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is going to be a true tester, like. I'm literally going to be sitting back and watching this game to kind of see what level Colorado is. This is a great test. I, I can't even tell you who I think is going to win the doggone game because I don't know. We're well, gonna find me and out. Dave can tell you who's going to win the yeah, doggone I can game. I tell you right now. Colorado, Colorado dog. Yes, all the way. <laughs> TCU will win the football game. But Wait a minute. Griff just said Colorado going to win. I mean, no, I meant TCU, though. I, I, okay. I meant Colorado will not win the game. And guess what? If Colorado beat TCU, then Dion is about to shock the world, and everything that you said for the last 20 episodes is going to come to fruition. I just think that TCU has – even the people that's – even all the seniors that left, you still got a lot of three-year starters that's been there from the beginning. They got the same coaching staff. Dion is coming in. He had to move stuff, and, you know, it's better when it's, it's better when all the sauce is in it. But, again, we will see. Mm-hmm. But see, this what? is why I like the NFL. NFL opening day weekend, they give you plenty of games to watch, right? But when you look at that schedule, and I'll put them down for you guys too, there's not that much to watch. I mean, yeah, if you got your favorite team out there, Georgia's playing, who is Georgia playing? I think they're playing like Ball State. Come on, man. Yeah, come on. Man. This it's is, not a game. No, but this is why you want the realignment because now you get a chance to see the USC against Michigan yeah, or true. Ohio State. UCLA, they got to play those games for the for the first weekend. This is what we're getting. We're talking about Colorado and TCU. TCU, yes, TCU got to the national. No, but not, not Colorado. Colorado's only getting conversation from us right now because of one person, and that's Deion Sanders. Not because of Colorado. I actually like down. on Friday. That's the story. Yeah, that I is, actually that, like. That's what I'm saying. That's the only reason we're talking about them. That's it. Must see, must see TV. It doesn't matter. Must he see is strong. <laughs> I like Friday, uh, Louisville against Georgia Tech. Um, but then Saturday, Tennessee, Virginia, that ain't going to be in no easy win. It's um, really Arkansas- Florida, Florida, Utah, you brought up earlier. That's on a Thursday night. Yeah. Hey, this Thursday. Hey, Florida, yeah. may get, Florida may get Trump, dog. 
I don't know. Florida is why well, well, well they did lose. They lost their quarterback. You Come right. On. You right. You right. And Utah ain't no Utah beat USC twice last season. Florida mate gets Utah. Trump dog. Utah is not a joke. <laughs> Here's Come something on, I would like to say. Number three, Ohio State plays Indiana. Indiana with the upset. They they never see it okay. coming. All right. Now, come on. You just <laughs> <laughs> you just wish we'll think Let's here. go. See, Let's go Hoosiers. <laughs> see, this is the problem. Hey. Look at the look at the three games I'm talking about. You got Florida, Utah, Colorado, TCU, and he's bringing that up because of prime time. That's fine. A yeah. coach prime. But then LSU on a Sunday against – that's to me, that's the big game of the weekend. Which one? LSU, LSU Florida State. Five. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's going to be a big game. That's a huge against, game. I guess number eight, uh, Florida mm-hmm. State. Yeah and, yeah, and Florida State will lose. How about that? These are the games we want to see. I don't want to see some of the trash we're seeing opening day in college football. Well, there's too many Michigan games. Got, we got trash games for five weeks. That's why Harbaugh was like, let me go ahead and get myself a suspension. Oh, we got to get into that so too. I don't have to play against UNLV and ECU and Whatever, ever cupcake, like our first four games is garbage. Like, <laughs> no, I, I do, I do, I know this don't happen much, but I, I kind of agree with Dave when it comes to opening college football weekend should be dope, key, strong matchups, mm-hmm. like out the gate, like out the gate. You shouldn't have to wait the conference to start, you know, for all the hype to start. It should be like some dope, somebody gonna be 0 and 1. Like, some that's a what lot I'm of talking these, about, right? The, the top 10. The top 10, somebody going to be 0-1, and, and that's how it should be. And this yeah. is our last – really our last season of the uh, the four-game playoff system. Next year we get the 12-game playoff system. I can't wait for realignment. that. I mean, I'm ready for so that. Many. I can't wait for that. I'm ready. I'm ready for that, too. I'm ready this, for that. This, but this whoever wins it this year, and Georgia has the best chance to win – to be the first one. Georgia's gonna lose three to somebody three. random because they gonna they schooled the, the school gonna be two. We gonna we gonna get a three beat. Have, and then they're gonna lose seen, and have you seen their schedule. Yeah, I know. I mean, really from their division, I mean their they hardest game is Alabama. Alabama. No, they don't play Alabama. Not until you see them in the SEC championship. In the SEC game. champ, then they no, other hard they have then. The easiest Tennessee, but Tennessee yeah. lost their quarterback. So Tennessee is not one. And then you Tennessee got South Carolina. Georgia South, has an easy schedule. South Carolina I can see them ain't. losing one game, but you'll still find them in the SEC championship game, and they'll still play for a championship in the end. They'll be in the four-game playoff system. Yeah. But the team I'm watching right now, and it's going to be – it's funny to say this, but I'm going to give you the reasons why. It's Michigan. I know John Harbaugh is going to uh, gonna get that three-game self-imposed suspension. They'll be all right the first three or four games. I think the fourth game against Rutgers, he'll be back for that. Yeah. But if he gets past Ohio State, they got Penn State too. Yes, Penn State is, is tricky. Jim Harbaugh, not John. That's yeah. his brother in Baltimore. I mean, yeah, John, yeah. But I, the whole point is I can see them winning a the championship. This I would could love be their us too, dog. They have the one thing. They have the one thing that when you look at Alabama, you look at uh, Georgia, and you look at uh, Ohio State, quarterback. Quarterback, the most important position. And he ain't, and he ain't, ain't trying guy. to make the team. He ain't try, he, well, he ain't transfer portal win. He Just know the system. He know yeah. hardball. He know he had two running backs last year, and now he got the one that was the better one who got hurt. So we're going to see, man. I, I, I tell you what. I tell you what. East Carolina going to get their fillers hurt. If J.J. McCarthy and Michigan run the table, you may see him in that Heisman Trophy race. I'm not saying win it, yeah. but you may see him in the race. I would like I to. See I see them in the I see them in the playoff system, and anything goes there. But this is but the last at, time. But look at this. The, look at what? Look at that. But, but I gave you the reason why. What's the most important position? What's quarterback. The most important position. When you look at Alabama, well, they're not sure who their quarterback is right now. Yep. Nick Saban is not saying anything about the quarterback position. Ohio State, they named somebody, but then they uh, named they somebody that no. And for the first time, let me tell y'all something. Because I hate Ohio State so much, I know Ohio State so much. Probably this season was the first time in the last twenty five years we ain't know who they starter was going to be because they know in the last twenty five years Ohio State has bred. Six foot four, two twenty five runners, 
passers. The, uh, exactly. I'm like, where is these black quarterbacks coming from that only Ohio State get? So it is going to be fun watching them lose. Indiana, Ohio State upset. <laughs> and then, and then we look at, uh, oh. Georgia. When you look at Georgia, the same thing. I mean, we didn't give Stetson Bennett his credit. I mean, your Georgia, they got some dogs. They got a defense that's solid. But he made plays for them the last two years in that quarterback position. That's going to count for something. They may go, they may blow through their division. I'm the liking SEC. what Dave's saying. I'm liking so you what you're saying. So you got that final four, that final four in a championship series. I can see Georgia getting knocked out because I think the quarterback is the that is the most important position. We, you like saying it. you saying Georgia won't make the the four playoff, or no, they, they will make, make it, it? But if somebody else with a better, I, I hear what you're saying because guess what? Learning on the fly ain't as easy as it sounds. Y'all you know still got the <laughs> running back. Y'all still got uh, who's a courtroom and uh, Edwards coming back. For yes, you, sir. For Michigan. So you yes, got a sir. running game. I don't know much about the defense because I did see them against TCU last season. So I don't know how much that defense is going to be a factor. I, but I agree. I can't say nothing. Agree. Um, we got you're some cornerbacks. There's some dogs and some linebackers. You know, it. You know, for us, it was the big young in that play for the Detroit Lions, hey, Hutchinson. Yeah. <laughs> big Hutchinson, what, once he left, then it was really no, you know what I'm saying? Now you got to deal with your average size linebackers that's fast and your cornerbacks. And, but when you got somebody that's six foot seven, 265, and can't no tackle, hold him in the whole NCAA, that changes the defense, dog. <laughs> so who, you got, who you got as your four that's going to be in the playoffs? I'll right go now. first on this one. I'll go first on this one. <clears throat> Georgia. Michigan, USC, Ooh. and I, it's easy to say Alabama. It's easy to say that because it's Alabama, but I still think somebody going to come up out of nowhere and sneak into that spot, but just for the purpose of conversation, Alabama. I like I like the only one I don't like in that, and I'll give you mine in a few seconds, but the only one I don't like is USC. I like Caleb Williams. But San Jose did score. San Jose State, they did score over 30 points. They scored 30 points against USC. Did they? What was the final score? That's way too many points. If you San Jose Jose State coach, uh, you get to say, uh, good job against these boys. Exactly. That's the problem. The problem will always be for Lincoln Riley. He's going to give you all the offense you want. He could put 40 points up, 45 points up in the game. But can your defense make a stop? He couldn't do it in Oklahoma trying to be in the playoff system, trying to get a national championship, and he hadn't done it yet. Look at the two games they lost last season to who? Utah, and they ended the bowl game. Remember this, at the Cotton Bowl. They lost to Tulane. What's your yeah. four teams, man? I got I got Michigan, Georgia, Alabama, and Ohio State. I'm a, And I'm going to say why. Michigan got something really to prove going back-to-back uh, mm-hmm. Final Fours and losing horribly in the first round. Uh, Alabama is mad that everybody ain't talking about Alabama, so you sleep on Nick Saban if you want to. And Ohio State got something to prove. They feel like uh, they'd have been a better match against everybody that was in the finals. So uh, them is them is mine. And I and on a dark horse, I like LSU for some reason. But then I know LSU and Alabama and all of them have to play each other, so they kind of cancel themselves out. But I like LSU. I'm going to go with Georgia. I'm going to go with Michigan. And I'll put them in this order. Alabama. And I think Clemson is back now. I think they'll be mm, in the Clemson. Forgot I don't, about I don't them. Be in <laughs> yeah, you forgot about Clemson. I forgot I'm about Clemson. Oh. ACC will be back in the picture, too. So I'm giving – that's my four. And I can see – my heart is said Alabama win a champ, a national championship, but I just don't know about the quarterback position. So right now, I'm going with the best quarterback of those four right now, and that's Michigan. I'm going with Michigan winning the, the what? Yeah. Super Dave giving Michigan the natty, giving Michigan the natty. Let me what? tell you something. Let me tell you something. He got to go for Michigan because his team is going to be horrible this year. He better <laughs> go. He better watch somebody fun. Who is my Oklahoma, the Oklahoma, Oklahoma Sooners. 
Well, I mean, they'll be we they'll what? be fine hey, in the hey, SEC. Hey, hey. Huh? We're taking it. We're taking it one year at a time. They won't. They won't be back this year. <laughs> well, speaking of speaking of one year at a time, let's talk about one month at a time because Holly Berry is gonna have to pay <laughs> one of her baby daddies uh, some child support. So we are gonna get into that next. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities in partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping one million dollars in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. Let's talk about it. All right, so Holly Berry has finalized her, um, what is this, her third or fourth divorce? One of, one of them. A, I mean, it got to be at least there. third. She was, I yeah. mean, she was with a younger dude. Yeah, she it, was with David yeah, Justice. Was, and, but let me, let me yeah. check. So was, anyway, she married, we don't was, she Eric, was she married to Eric Benet? Was she married to him? I don't think she was married I to Eric so. Benet. I don't know. Right? Or was they just dating hard? That's a good question. But anyways, man, she divorced in Olivier. Yeah, they say three huh? times. She's been married three times. There it is. So uh, she got to pay $8,000 to her, to Olivier Martinez. You know what I'm saying? One of her baby daddies. And she, <laughs> that's not really a whole lot of money, man, because. Bread for Hollywood. I thought that was, she got off on the, that must be some spite money or something. That was actually pretty. But everybody is, but there's a lot of people that's mad because why should this man be receiving child support from this woman? Let me tell you why. Because even though he ain't no mama, how about that? Nobody won't say it out loud. She don't want to do that at the crib, do that at the crib, watching the baby. You don't get to claim mama. You know, you see, she paying child support and she ain't in court going back and forth. Uh, here you go. You understand? (laughs) She, she, let me tell you something that that's gonna be cold. She picked the business over her family. Mm. She picked the business. I'm gonna go be Holly Berry. You be a father. <laughs> so you so you saying that Holly Berry swoops in and spends her little mommy time with her kids and then Instagram mom. Straight and, up, I say it. Let her call and be mad. I hate I the homies host. Say Holly Berry is an Instagram mama. I don't know if I go that far. I think she spends time with her kids. I can agree that. He probably at the crib being mom, dad. You know what I'm saying? Guess why? Guess why? Who is he? I I get all that, but I still think she spends some good quality time with her kids. Now she probably is on the move a lot, like a lot of celebrities or whatever. But I don't yeah. think she just I don't think she just taking pictures for Instagram and say, "See, look what I'm doing with my kid," and then she gone that fast. I, I, don't, I don't think she's that bad. Then why didn't the mom of a child fight for custody, Rock? That's all I'm saying. Let's come on now. A dude to go in court and fight, 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 and not even get custody. Why she, Holly Berry ain't go to court and say, I would like to have full custody of my baby? Okay, so correct me, you know, bring me up to speed because I'm a little bit ignorant. She has a boy and a girl, a daughter and a son, right? A little bit. I'm a double check, I'm gonna double check that too. Because um, it depends. So, so who which of her kids? Does she not have custody of the son or the daughter, or, or is, it, is it two daughters? They say her kids, the actress is proud mom to Nala 15 and Macy 09. Okay, so yeah, wow. So, so the daughter's the 15 year old. Now, who, who, which one of those kids she does not have custody of the son or the daughter? The the nine year old is about to be eight thousand a month, that's how much he costs. No, you said something about she don't have custody. She don't have custody of both of her kids. Well, I'm just no. I ain't say that. I said with that, when is she being a mom? Like no, when you, is she, no. You said she, why is she not fighting for custody of her kids? I'm like, well, wait a minute. I didn't know she didn't not have custody of one of her kids. I thought she had custody of both of them. Oh, I don't know. I'm just being a uh, Holly hater. How about that? <laughs> okay, well you had. <laughs> I, I, I was, was, <laughs> but you know what? She's paying eight thousand dollars, right? Which right. is no yeah. money, by Which the way. No Hundred okay. thousand. But, but year. let's say this: if it's my name, David, or Rock T, or Griff, we're paying her. That judge is gonna see a different color when we're in that courtroom. 
First of Being all, African- I don't care what Holly say. I'm not divorcing you, Holly, and I'm a hyphen my last name. I'm be Arlen Griffin Barry. Grow up. <laughs> I'm, a, she, I'm going but, out. I'm going out like uh, the lady that married the Winers. Uh, <laughs> she ain't never changing her name. But that's a good question, man. She's been married three times and divorced three times, and 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 in in the media, the the men always. Oh, okay. I'm I'm always saying, what, I'm gonna and they're saying somebody some of this. Told me she's a lousy lover. I'll say that, and I'll just keep it. I'm gonna say really? it like that. I promise you, that's what somebody told me. I can see. I mean, I can see that just because we look at it. You, see you all running up in her while she got to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's don't a be, reason why. Don't be, don't be get sneaking in my bed, messing my body up, trying to make me pregnant <laughs> when I got to be. On TV. I mean. She's been with a lot of guys, right? A lot. I mean, enough. Enough. And then the one yeah. guy that I thought she was going to stay, I thought they were in love. I remember seeing Eric Benet. On award, Eric Benet. Yeah. And he but Eric a- Benet messed up because he said he had a sex problem. I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And that's so why, wait a minute. why everybody having sex problems except Holly. And if you with Holly Berry, but you still over here, but you got a sex problem, it's something. It's Holly, all eyes on you. Hey man, I don't know. It is what it is. It ain't you, always the man. It, 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 that that part is true. Yeah, that part is very true. Yeah, they always want to blame us, but she's been through a lot of guys. But she at some got, point, you got. Why can't a woman have a short attention span? Dudes, we have a short attention span. I like that Holly is like, you know what? Take this bread. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you this AGs. I don't have to owe you palimony or nothing else. But well, I think she got, she's with Van Hunt now. I'm about to say, she got a new Damn. dude. And obviously, he like, he like probably like, hey, we ain't got to get married. We cool. Let's just be friends. Who's Van Hunt? He, uh, he's, a, he's an artist. He's a yeah. musician. Yeah. Yeah, he he popping it now. He, yeah. Did you say popping it now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wasn't that a good one, Griff. <laughs> I actually liked it, dog. <laughs> so, this, uh, this is this is this is what I think about Holly Berry, man. To to maintain that stature, to maintain that place where you want to be in Hollywood amongst the greats. I mean, the first uh, black leading Oscar award winner. And, you know, it comes with a price, dog. It comes with a price. I I guess the big question is, do we all have a problem with her paying for a guy? Period. I mean, that's no, but, but guess because sometimes it go like this at court. You can pay this child support, or you can get palimony, which is a wo- a woman who got money that got to pay a dude who don't have enough money. That so maybe he says, you know what, just put some on the baby. I ain't tripping. Like we all know how that part go. Now, or you- or did she sign a prenup in the beginning that Has you can't get none of this Holly Berry show? money? Has anybody had to pay child support on this show? Anybody? Yeah, I pay no. right now. You pay right now? now. Right now to a to a. Don't. That's what I want. I want bring bring. That's what. That's why. No, I don't bring it down. Keep it up. Keep no, it up, Griff. No, tell the truth. I'm gonna keep it down. No, quit I being actually, all soft. Instead of paying, instead of putting child support for Jameson, I write love support for Jameson because I love Jameson. I think of Jameson and it make me happy. And I'm glad her mom had her for me, and and it don't make me be mad Did you that I'm paying court? child support for my child. But I raised hers. Did you have to go to court for that? Or you, you damn straight I had to. Did they how did they look at you in there? That's what I'm at. I guess that's why I'm asking the question about Halle Berry. Should she be paying right now? Because a lot well, of guys here's think- here's what and and here's how about this? I, I we had a mediator. So, you know, before you can if if, if you two want to mediate and work some things out, out before you see the judge, they can work it out here and then you don't have to see the judge. Or you can not like anything either one is saying, like, and be like, just let me see the judge. But in mediation, I reminded her I could get half of your military pension. So let's easy on what you asking for. Cause I could have. 
you know what? That's, we we kind of got a similar situation because in my first marriage with the uh, m- the mother of, and now I'm mad. God, you know that's what I want. That's why I asked the question. We're not leaving right now. I want. I wanted to make somebody mad. That's what I wanted to do. Come on, Rock. Go no, ahead, man. Bro. You know what, like Griff? How about this, Griff? How about, how about after ten years of marriage, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you raise my two kids that you did not have. That's number one. I'm going to make you do that. And then, towards the end of our relationship, I'm going to have a baby with you. And then I'm going to make you pay child support for that child. When the other kid's daddy didn't put one dollar on it. How about that, Griff? Welcome. Uh-uh. Rock, Welcome. I don't want to leave without you saying what you got to say. Say what you got to say. Hey man, my first marriage, I had two beautiful daughters, Lyric and Harmony. You guys know know my daughters, yeah. man. Yeah. And uh um I actually got could have had full custody of both of them. I showed up to court and she didn't. Baby mama did not show up. Oh, not once. Yeah, that changed everything. Not twice. So the judge finally said, Okay, the third time, listen, rock what you want. So I could have took everything. I could have made her pay child support. Actually. Absolutely, absolutely. But I was the I was like, hey, listen, that's their mother. And well, you did better than me, Rock, because Griff gonna pay. How about that? <laughs> I don't care how much he loved these kids. He coming out of his pocket, USAA on the tenth and the twenty fifth, and I'm getting money for that. his baby for the one with his last name. Well. <laughs> Welcome. Did you okay? Okay, but let me let me ask. So, is it sorry for a man to take money from a woman? Not at all. You okay, can feel you, not all right. at all. Guess what? If I'm married up, you're gonna pay up. Like, you, you don't get okay. to leave. You don't get to leave and think it's cool. But huh? back to Griff's situation, you know, the best part about the best, the part that I love the most was his face. When I told him I was going to make him pay child support. Because, you know, what's funny is Griff even said, you know what? I know that dads live within 30 miles from here and they ain't never gave us no money for anything. But don't put them in on child support. I got you. I got my kids. Them is my kids. So when I flipped it on him, that's, that was my favorite part. He never saw it coming. You understand me? That's what I did out here. <laughs> Say, man. We, we better move away. We better move away from this topic now. He needs some therapy, dog. So uh yeah, he does. I'll, I started let's, something. Let's, hey, here, here's a here's a topic to talk about women who got over on their ex-husbands. <laughs> That's yeah, a whole other something. episode. Yeah, we gotta get Griff some therapy, dog. Yeah, he's gonna go take it out on all. He's gonna take it out on all them deer here about to shoot with that dog on shirt he got on. Next on, I hate the homies. <laughs> you, you said I'm gonna take it out on the deer, on all them deer you about to shoot. <laughs> What's why up? You, why I got this at that place that sell the guns? What's it called? Yeah. Calhoun, not Calhoun. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, Bass Pro Shop. No, the <laughs> other one. They come. <laughs> With a C, uh, start with a C or something. I can't remember. Anyway, Cavenders. The <laughs> fact that you, <laughs> <laughs> what's coming up next, dog? All right, so let's get into uh, the Atlanta I mean, High School football next. coach. The tenth is when he got to pay child support again. That's, <laughs> that's what's coming up next. The tenth. Remember it, Griff. You can put love support if you want. I don't give a damn what you put on it. You can put happy, happy, happy. But I know you said deep. I know you said a thousand dollars every month. I know that hurt. You could have got a video game. Could have went to South Africa again or something. But no, nah, pay me. You you done, dog? You finished? And we another got thing, Griff, <laughs> and one more, this, this is the last thing, Rock. I'm sorry I had to come out. <laughs> no, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Okay, All right, so let's, let's that's my responsibility, it. and that's what the state of Georgia is making me do, I'm going to do it. All right, so speaking of the state of Georgia, 
we got the high school football coach out of Atlanta area that punched one of his players in the stomach during a game. And you should everybody punched me in the stomach, Griff. You'd have did better. You'd have, you'd have saved you some money. You'd have just gut punched me like that football. Okay, I'll take this part out. No, <laughs> nobody should gut punch you. You should have worn a condom. <laughs> you got to protect yourself, dog. <laughs> We're going to talk about Running that. Running up in people. <laughs> We're going to talk about the high school coach punching this player next. Oh, man. Good luck with all that. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities. In partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, the McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. All right, so this is going to be a little touching situation because uh, I'm interested to learn what y'all think about this. We got a high school football coach that was caught on video uh, in his player's face, and he got so angry that he kind of gave him a little jab. He hit him with a four, dog. He ain't hit him with a little jab. He gave him a proper boxing four. If Boom. you know about boxing, the jab is the one. The, the strong arm is the two. The three is the uppercut. And the four is the eh. He gave Punch. him a hard four, dog. Punched him in the gut. And the player, you can tell, that kind of probably knocked the wind out of him a little he bit. He tried like, to oh. play it off, but then he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now everybody is upset. Uh, he lost his job, of course. He uh, he got arrested, right? If I'm not mistaken, he got arrested. Yeah, no, he got arrested for sure. Yep. He got a he got a charge, a battery charge, a minor battery charge put on him, and now everybody is pissed off that he. How could you put your hands on this player? How could you punch your player? You're the coach. You're the father figure. You're the one. Yep. That's Everything you saying. All of that stuff, man. So before I put my two cents in on it, I'll let you guys go first. I will start by saying is no, that ain't how you coach or lead. And if that was my son, they would have it would have been a a horrible day for that coach. I'll say that. And 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 that's really it. Um, you know these young men. I know you got to grab people by their face mask to get their attention. Sometimes you understand. And then that person could go on to win a whole bunch of awards because his coach was hard on him because he was bringing out the best of them. But, but at a game, I mean, we don't got. I, when I say hit, I mean you know a, a coach grabbing you by your back. You know what I'm saying? Like if you in a wrong position, he gonna grab you. Say you was a defensive end and you wasn't scooted over enough, so he gonna grab you by your jersey, scoot you over, move you over here. But all that come with it. Just punching the dude because he didn't do something or he did. Nah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm I'm not a fan of that at all. And and, and shame on that coach. I mean, it's simple. I mean, you don't put your hands on on a player like that. I mean, you had a balled up fist. You hit him in the gut, man. You can't do that. I understand grabbing the face mask. We all grew up in, in a. It's a different time now. I don't agree with this. I don't time. even I think, think you can grab that face I, mask no more. I, I think it, this. I think this society and our kids are soft because of what we can't do anymore. What we grew up with, but I I don't I don't think back then we saw guys getting punched in the stomach. I think once you start cross the line when you start hitting people in certain areas with your fists because then it becomes abuse now grabbing somebody's shoulder or uh, grabbing somebody's uh, face mask it shouldn't be a problem right and i think now we're going crazy over but i watched it too did you watch it a bu- yeah, i watched I it a watch bunch it. of times because i wanted to see how mad he was he was furious he was mad and he was he was hands. he was mad and then i saw him make the fist like he still had a split second to say let me walk away because that because again if that's my if that's my son and i see him getting punched but know why he your- did that cuz that son that boy probably had no daddy and he was the daddy figure and he was thinking that was just bad parenting either but, way bad parenting, bad parenting bad coaching but again, if if either one of us saw him punch our son or punch our kid what would it, we would have done we would have been after that i'm coach. going to jail 
Because nope. I'm a, I'm a, I'm <laughs> not gonna stop. That ain't, that ain't, I'm not gonna stop. Exactly. I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop. I'm going to jail. First time beating up a coach. I'm gonna say this. Um, everything that y'all said is accurate. Um, back in the day, before social media, before video cameras being everywhere, capturing practices, a lot of games. Only games that you saw on TV and the internet was the featured game or whatever. But um, man, there was things that was way worse than that. Like, of course, when I played football, I had I love my coaches. Like my coaches are were are, to this day have all as served as mentors to me. And there's been straight dog nose fights with coaches and players yeah. in, in 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 practices sometimes, even sometimes on the sideline of games or whatever. Yes, grabbing the face mask that's normal even grabbing the shoulder pads and shaking them hard, even punching the shoulder pads. But when you start getting to the uppercuts in the stomach and stuff like that, I mean, I've seen worse than that. And it's, it was all done out of love. You know what I'm saying? But what if that was something they did at practice? If you miss a play, I'm going to hit you in the stomach. What if that was, you know what I'm saying? What? Because we don't know. And that could Look, be. So nobody want to fumble because they don't want to get hit in the stomach. What if that listen, was? That's, that's the point I'm trying to make. Now, how okay. do we know that this doesn't happen – all the time yeah. at practice or whatever. How do we know that the team didn't even agree with the, they haven't agreed with the coach like this? This is part of, you know, you know, some slight punishment or whatever. Now let's be honest. Was that a little extreme? Yes. That was a strong uppercut to the belly. It's, it's to that, to that kid. It's but at the same practice. But I understand why he did it. I understand. Cause he's like, you better than that, son. You know, we taught you better than that. It's that tough love. It's that discipline. So if it was my son, I don't I'm not so sure that I would just automatically panic and go into like, oh, me and him finna go at it. I want to first understand, OK, tell me what happened, what's going on or whatever, because I'm a fan of tough love. I'm a fan of tough. Coaching. I am too, dog. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of I'm kind of on both sides of the fence on this one, because all I have to go on is what I saw in the video. But because I've been through that and. I, it did. It didn't. It doesn't really bother me that bad. It's like, man, okay. let's toughen up. You tough. You better than that, and let's go. So it's you and Crystal at a high school at your high school uh, at your son's high school pro football practice, right? Yeah. Y'all in the stands. Mm -hmm. He gets punched by the by the head coach, just like that. Okay. And you're going. What you just said. You want to see what it's all about. But your wife turns around, and look at you, like Jada did uh, to Will Smith. At the Oscars, you know, you gonna do something? first of all, Chris is gonna probably be the first one. Like, I was gonna say, yeah, his, get wife, him. his wife, he, get him. Have to yeah, he know better than that. <laughs> My son, he know he gonna be the she gonna probably be a, a hype boy more, more than me when it comes to that because she's a fan of the tough love and the tough coaching as well. Now, I, I will just, say this I will ahead. say this, you know, if there's a pattern of abuse when my son or my child is coming home depressed. And stuff yeah, like and that. Talking, okay. He ain't talking after practices. It's, now then it's time that's... to sit down with coach and let's have a conversation. What's going on? Because I want to hear both sides of the story, whatever. But if it's just flat out tough coaching, toughen up, like, man, let's go. You made a mistake. That ain't rock and grip. That ain't coaching. You hit you, you hit somebody in the gut, man. You man. can't do that. Have but you played football? I would love to hear the yes. other players. Have you played say, football? I would yes, love the players to say, I want to hear the other players say, he always hit us in the stomach. Like, <clears throat> that's what I'm waiting for. Because they're going hard on I'm waiting for him to say, we got a policy. If you drop two fumbles, you get hit in the stomach. Like, that's I I'm, I'm waiting to hear that. We, I don't think neither one of us will be patient enough, other than Rock, what he just said. If I'm sitting in the stands and I see that coach, I may not know what's going on. But the point is, I see that coach hitting my son the way he did. I'm coming down from the stands, and I'm going to attack the coach. That's and it. Look, Look, and you also got to understand what kind of relationship do you have with that coach? That coach could be a, 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 an amazing giant in the community. He can he can be he could be a mentor for so many of our kids in the community. And at that moment, he got so upset with this player out of frustration as, listen, I know you're better than that son. And I use the word son for real because this coach could be a father figure to a lot of these kids on this of football course, team. Normally you are, follow me? Of so so that passion as a as a father figure in the in the inner city, and he may have it. He probably didn't have a dad. Don't have a dad in his life. This coach could be a father figure, father in this kid's life, and it's that tough love that I'm showing you, man. Come on, you better than that. So 
it's it's that's why I'm kind of in the middle. I don't I, know the whole story. I, I have no I have no problem with tough love, but I'm I'm sitting here. I'm I can sit here and say for myself and maybe for you two guys, if your son makes you that mad at that age, are you hitting them in the stomach? Never. Okay, How that's it. That? No, nah, I'm just so saying. Nobody never. should I'm do it. I'm not hey, I'm not talking my, I'm not my son. It. I'm not. I'm not sucking my son like that. I'm just. If saying. you hey, can't do it, no I one. I was abused growing hey, up, though. So it's a lot of things. Hey, I, yeah, I did. I, I did a 400 meter oh, relay. I'm like, wow, I was right. He right. Was right. Right. He wants Why, to right. everybody. He want everybody to know he ran the 400 meter <laughs> relay back in the day. Everybody. <laughs> 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 Just, just bring that up. That's, that's the segue. That's the segue from this man. I don't know what y'all did. <laughs> <laughs> that joke Griff took that did serious did last week. Did, man. did, did your track? Huh? Did your track coach hit you in the stomach when you didn't run as fast as you needed? When I run? wasn't as fast as I was supposed to be. Yeah, I took yeah. a beating. I took a oh, yeah. beating. Right? <laughs> That's what that's what excel. That's what pushed me to be the fastest. <laughs> no, oh no. man, let's get, let's get into the Cowboys and Trey Lance. Yeah, man, and there's, let's go, man, because I'm still trying to figure that one out. Well, maybe not, because that was an easy situation. We're gonna talk about that next. Um, the third overall pick to the San Francisco 49ers from North Dakota State is now a Dallas Cowboy. I'm Griff, and I hate the homies. We gotta talk about it. it. What are you doing? What is there to talk, talk about? about? I'm Super Dave, and guess what? We, we don't, don't care. care. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about. <laughs> Welcome to Dallas, hey. Tommy. Welcome to Dallas. <laughs> hey, he's gonna be another Jamarcus Russell. Oh, did I just touch a button? A hot Perfect. button on Griff with them Raiders? Well, well, let me <laughs> let me hold on, hold on, just hold, hold. And I love. Hey, number one. <laughs> <laughs> Jamarcus Russell was the number one pick in the whole NFL. Big difference. Yeah. Now, was Jamarcus Russell a whole bum? A hobo. A hobo. Trey Lance ain't even had every time they do like this. Hey, Trey, we want you to be the, the king of the 49ers. He let down the world, dog. How many times you going to get let down? The question to me, the funny part is, he said he wanted out of he, he said he wanted because they made that boy to they made Sam Darnold the number two. Mm-hmm. And he said he wanted out of Frisco on Tuesday. Thursday, he was at DFW. <laughs> but look, he's gonna be third for the Cowboys as well, because Cooper Rush is still gonna be number two. That's what, let me tell you, let me tell you what, let me tell you what Jerry Jones did. He put a spark under uh what's his name ass just to no. let him know. No, that that oh that's he, oh, he, he don't even care. He just called he him should. a quarterback. He brought, he brought in a quarterback that has potential the same way. If anybody you want to put blame on this whole situation, not even Trey Lance, is the 49ers. You gave up three. They dirty. They you dirty, gave up three dog. number ones, three number ones that year for Trey Lance to move up. Justin Fields front. was for sure supposed to be the starter Thank for you. the San Francisco 49ers, Thank and you. he would have done better, and he would have been able to – he. he we would have been talking about him like we talked about Lamar Jackson if he was with the San Francisco this. 49ers. Trey Lance came out of North Dakota State, only played how many games? That dude. For that dude. NFL and for NFL and in college, he played a total of 21 games. 21 in his career. He threw 99 passes in high school. He had 318 attempts in college. <laughs> he wasn't ready to be the number three pick. But the 49ers, this is how dumb they were. They moved up and said we can make him to be something that he's not. He's not. Now look, he has time with the Cowboys to be something. If look, we don't know what he's gonna be. From what I saw, from what I from what I saw so far, you're right. We still don't know, but what I saw so far, Trey Lance should be the fourth string quarterback for the Cowboys because I'll put Will Greer in front of him. But don't do that because the, the Raiders made him look good last week when the Raiders when the Well, Raiders look at the time. <laughs> Real you know, you know who would have been real good for <laughs> North Dakota State? Griff paying me 
Charles. Well, let, me leave you, let me leave you with this, Griff. In the last preseason game, what, what Rock is talking about, y'all made Will Greer look like he's that an boy MVP. went out. Let me tell you something. Will Greer had 305 yards passing. I believe he was 16 to 18, something no, he was, dumb. Oh, 29 then, to 35. And, 29 yes, to 35. And, and then he had 58 yards rushing, two touchdowns rushing, two oh, touchdowns passing. Touchdowns. I know. Hey, all, all I'm going to say is this. Two on the ground. Hey, all I'm going to say is this. Cooper Rush has got a backup quarterback controversy on hand if they kept Will. But they probably ain't going to keep Will because now they got Trey Lance. You're right. And Trey You're Lance right. has a chance to sit but, back. But Will, Will put up numbers. Somebody going to pick him up as a good uh, backup. Well, yeah. he yep. up numbers against the, No, he put up numbers against the Raiders. First of all, hey. the Raiders was undefeated, and it was See, the that's, last that's preseason. Look at him. <laughs> Hey, the Raiders oh, are gonna homie. pick him up. Hold it, homie. The homie, Raiders are gonna pick him up. <laughs> homie, I watched it. I watched it three times, dog. Like I ain't know what the final outcome was. I watched hey. that game three times. I was mad all three damn times, dog. Will Gray is about to be a Raider. Watch. I hate you so much, dog. Can we leave? Deuces. That's it, man. I hate the homies out of here. Rock Tees is who I be. It's your boy Griff. It is football season, Raider Nation, and I hate the homies. And it's your boy Super Dave, but guess what? We don't, we don't care. care. Griff, you want to play that 400 meter again so we can hear it one more time? <laughs> we can, we can live your life. No, let him go. Let him no. go hunting, man. I know he's hot in that dog on shirt right now. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Rabbit season. Duck season. <laughs> Rap season, man, that's so funny. I put it on and laughed at myself when I put it on. I was like, I'm aware. I don't even care. Ray oh. Nugget.